Okay, here we go. You ready, Les? I'm ready when you... You haven't been here before, have you? Uh, no, I haven't. No. You know how it goes. Yes, I do. All right, you know that we polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank skate. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. Second most frequent response, $250, and the third, $100. Now, who do you want to get a little help from up here? Uh, Betty White, please. Betty, how do you uh, fill in that blank? Roller skate. Roller skate is one. <laughs> Richard. Richard? Well, today is Sonny Heaney's birthday, so ice skate. Ice skate. Okay. Well, it's not a nuisance. All right. And Brett, please. Brett? They're talking to you, darling. <laughs> well, I was just trying to read uh, Charles to see if he had, I guess, good skate. That's the only thing I can think of. Good skate. Okay, so you, you got... Well, gee whiz, <laughs> it's number three. <laughs> Roller skate, <laughs> ice skate, and good skate from man. Brett. <laughs> good skate. <laughs> that's the sleeper. That's the sleeper, You're as Richard said. You're all going to be sorry when what you, you, you want to yeah. choose one of those or give us one of your own? I, I'll go with ice skate. Ice skate. <laughs> He's the sleeper. Cheap okay. Skate. What'd you say? Cheapskate. Cheapskate would have been a good one, too, but nobody Can thought of it. we five or six? Well, yeah. we'll find out whether uh, Ice Skate is up there or any of them, indeed, and where they are. May we see the $100 response. <coughs> Cheapskate. <laughs> First one out. Okay, we're still looking for Ice Skate. Here is a $250 response. Ice Skate it is! Congratulations, Les Madel. All right, you got it. Before we go on... What do you think, roller skate? Uh, good, good. Good skate. <laughs> Brett and I feel Brett's confident. answer, it's good skate. The audience says, roller skate, here's a oh, $500 response. <laughs> roller. <laughs> All right, I, I give the audience a nickel and let them split it up there. <laughs> now, Les, <clears throat> you've won the $250. That means you will now be playing for 10 times that amount or $2,500. Bam. Now to collect the <laughs> to collect that amount, you must match one celebrity on a head-to-head -head basis. It has to be exact. Which one will it be? Uh, Richard Dawson, please. Richard, pull yourself together, Richard. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Much better. I deserve that. All right. Get ready now. You got to write your answer. You sure. face me, please, Les. All right. Here's the two thousand five hundred dollar question. English blank. Oh. English blank. Okay, Richard is finished, Les. Now we ask for your answer. How do you fill in that blank? English? Leather. English leather. That's the name of a men's cologne, huh? No plugs, Les. <laughs> All right, English leather is his answer. Richard, for $2,500, may we see yours? <laughs> show you for $10,000. <laughs> but, no, well, I'm sorry, what did you say? What was English English leather is his answer. Oh, well, that's mine as well. Oh, 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 oh. Congratulations. You got a souvenir. You've got a total now of $2,800. We are all very happy for you, aren't we, friends? You got any friends here? Yes, yes, yes I do. Yes, Ooh, yes. Our relatives? Uh, no, I've got some friends from Thousand Oaks who are here to see me. Okay, well, we wish you the very best of luck as you continue here on Match Game 74. You're the champ. You're going to meet another challenger now, so let's bring that person on. Here comes Peggy Etner. Wait a minute. Hold everything. There we go. Let's stop. All right. Hi, Peggy. You know Les? Peggy, we welcome you. Thank nice you. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. Please tell us where you're from. I'm from Los Angeles, a native Californian, and I work in the personnel department of a savings and loan here in Los Angeles. All right. We uh, wish you well. And uh, since you are the challenger, Peggy, you know that you have to make a selection here. Okay. Letter B, please. She wants B. The reason we ask you to do it, because some contestants find some questions harder than others, although we try to make them all an equal degree of difficulty. Oh, shut up and drink your beer. <laughs> here it is, folks. Where's my key light? Oh, there it is. 
Mrs. Brown's motto is, be prepared. So, now that she's pregnant, she always carries a blank with her. <laughs> the audience is mildly titillated. Once more. Yeah. Yes, here we go, once more, for the upper tier. Mrs. Hoping. Brown's motto is, be prepared. So, now that she's pregnant, she always carries a blank with her. I didn't see your answer. So I it's gonna be a to see. it's gonna be a surprise to me. <laughs> right. So <of> yours. <laughs> surprise me. Mrs. Brown, I love mine. <laughs> I know it. I always love your answers. Uh, not once more, Charles. No. Okay. Once for no, twice for yes, Charles. Right. <laughs> now, Peggy, Mrs. Brown's motto is be prepared. So now that she's pregnant, she always carries a blank with her. What do you put in that blank? A doctor with her. She always carries a doctor with her. That's not a bad answer. <laughs> Don't owe at her like that. <laughs> doctor. Okay, Joe, she says doctor. What do you say? Well, he's in medical school, but he's only a boy scout. I see. Carries a boy scout with her. Be prepared is their motto. All right, Brett? I think mine is the most sensible. She carries a delivery bag. With a little black bag with all of the tools in it and all that? All right, that, that's her answer. <laughs> Moving right along. Yes. <laughs> I said a chastity belt. <laughs> City Locking the right. barn door after the okay. horse is lost. <laughs> Linda? I think mine's the most sensible. I said a crib. A crib? Uh, Carrie's a crib with her. All right. Doctor is the answer we're looking for, Richard. The crib's all right, but a new baby, you need a diaper. Diaper is a very good one. Okay, <laughs> Betty? Do you know what a doctor, why a doctor is a doctor for midgets? Because he has very little patience. No, that's uh -huh. not right. I have a suit. I get blown. What have you got? A suitcase. <laughs> a suitcase. Well, yeah. Well. I, no questions there. <laughs> all right. So now, Pally, you, you didn't do well with that at the all. Worst but, answers yeah, I've see how you're doing the second round, and we've got your end of this round to go. Les, we'll get back to our two players, but first we've got a message for you.